If you happen to be a fan of Bangladesh, you already know you're going to hate this video, so you should probably just click away. You know, about a week ago, I reviewed the single worst song I'd ever heard in my life, Surrounded by Silence by Design the Skyline. It was a song so bad, it changed my outlook on life. I actually hate modern pop music significantly less now. Whenever I hear a bad song on the radio, instead of slipping into a rage, I simply think, well, at least it's not Surrounded by Silence by Design the Skyline. But even keeping that in mind, there is one person who I still cannot stand. Bangladesh. The producer, not the country. I hate Bangladesh's style of production as a whole. Every song he touches turns to crap, regardless of how good the performing artist is. Whenever I start to think I'm wasting my time with these reviews, Bangladesh is the one who convinces me otherwise. If I stop making these reviews, there is a small chance that pop music as a whole will sink to Bangladesh's level, and I cannot let that happen. These are the top 10 worst Bangladesh songs. But first, an honorable mention. And yes, there's only one honorable mention in this video, because I had a feeling that if I put more than 11 different Bangladesh songs into one video, Sony Vegas would crash and my computer would implode. This is pathetic. The only reason why this song isn't on the list is because the beat is actually okay. My main problem with this song revolves around pretty much everything else. For one thing, this hook is atrocious. It's just the same line repeated over and over in the most annoying key possible. Also, this song is about shoes. Enough said. Jessica's performance on this song is pretty weak. Her voice is entirely generic, and she has borderline no personality. It's almost laughable how arrogant she is on this track, as she just can't back it up. Oh really? Uh, hey, Nakoma? Oh, hey, Ethan. What do you think about Jessica Malboy? Who the fuck is Jessica Malboy? Exactly. So, you were just using me to prove a point? Yep. Can I leave now? Already? The list hasn't even started yet. We were supposed to collaborate on this. It was going to be this huge thing. Yeah, I, I've got somewhere to be. <sighs> okay then, I guess I'll be suffering through this alone. Oh, wait, I need to rewrite the script. Crap. <sighs> Give me a minute. And done. Whew, sorry about that. Anyways. Depending on. Number 10. Uh. You guys remember Like a G6, right? That pathetic rap song with absolutely nothing memorable about it except for the hook? If not, I don't blame you. Well, regardless of how much you liked or hated that song, you have to admit, the Far East movement have done so much worse. Go girl, you're a bass head. This song does a number of things that tick me off. First of all, this beat is horrible. Bangladesh just took one screechy, obnoxious synth riff and repeated it endlessly through the course of the song. No two moments in this song are noticeably different from each other. You can play this song over itself and it barely sounds any different. In fact, it actually sounds better half the time. But for Bangladesh, this isn't even close to his worst production. Second of all, this song is exceptionally lame, mostly because it has pretty much no bass in it at all. Judging from the songs that I've been subjected to while making this countdown, Bangladesh is relatively new to the concept of bass, and in this song, it shows. Let me see you pop it. Dude, this is bass. This is not. Let me see you pop it, girl, you're a bass head. Go girl, you're a bass head. A majority of this song is written in the treble clef. Just saying. Third of all, this song is a massive failure all around. It tries to pander to the bass head demographic, but it ends up insulting them. This song, with its weak sauce production, essentially implied that bass heads will listen to anything with the slightest trace of bass in it. Well, that's simply untrue. Most bass heads hate this crap. The Far East movement probably doesn't even know what a bass head is. I can't take any more of this. Let's just move on to number nine. As if that'll be any better. Depending on. Number nine. Remember my worst song of 2013 video where I called Pour It Up Rihanna's worst song? Yeah, I take it back. Nope, I found something even worse than that. Have you ever heard the term glorious disaster? Cockiness by Rihanna is a glorious disaster without the glory. 
I hate everything about this. The lyrics in this song fall into two categories, blatant sexual references and incredibly obvious euphemisms. This is just a ripoff of S&M, but it's more annoying and less subtle. I haven't heard euphemisms this bad since... I wanna see you peacock, cock, cock, you no, comparing this song to Peacock is an insult to Peacock. Yes, that's how much I hate this song. I am dead serious. I mean, we're only at number 9, and these songs are already disturbingly bad. This song is actually really distressing to listen to. I can honestly only listen to this song with one earbud in, because I cannot stand to have this music in both my ears at the same time. There's something about the way Rihanna sings over herself that sounds kind of... demonic. Also, this song would have been about 15 times better if that one guy in the background would stop screaming. In fact, that screaming guy, yeah, runs through the entirety of the song. What is he even saying, anyways? Okay, then. Depending on... Number 8. Uh, Speaking of disturbingly bad music... Little piece of advice. Never listen to this song if you have a headache. It'll just make things worse. When I originally made this list, this song was in the top five, but after listening to more of Bangladesh's work, I realized that he's done far worse than this. Even so, this song is just awful. It's awfully written, awfully produced, awfully performed, and it has two different melodies that cancel each other out. And to top it all off, it's also pretty disturbing to listen to. It just sounds... defective. I mean, how does someone realistically make a song this bereft of good qualities? And how does it crack the top 20? People will just listen to anything these days, won't they? But first, let me take a selfie. I guess they will. Depending on... Number 7. Uh, you know what? I hate disturbing music, but it's not my least favorite kind of music. No, that would be bad rap music. I cannot stand bad rap music. There are only three things worse than bad rap music. Those being bad metal, genocide, and black licorice jelly beans. Don't get me wrong, I like rap, but I hate bad rap. In fact, most of the time I find bad rap to be significantly worse than regular bad pop music. When pop songs are bad, at least you can focus on how catchy they are, or how good the vocals are, or something along those lines. But when rap songs are bad, they are unredeemable. A good load of rap songs have no melody, so if a rapper's lyrics are bad, there's no catchy tune to drown them out. The lyrics are right in front of your face throughout the entirety of the song. And when the beat is bad, it's never an ironically enjoyable kind of bad. It's usually just dark, sluggish, and depressing. And of all the bad rap songs I've heard, this is one of the worst. 100 This song is so bad, it's almost an accomplishment. This song has everything I hate about modern rap collaborations. Dull, boring rappers, generic lyrics, poor rhymes, an awfully produced beat that's more dreary and lazy than anything, some guy repeating words in the background, and a really dark music video. This is the epitome of bad rap music. But this song has something much, much worse. Bangladesh. On camera. Rapping. Okay, Bangladesh, and no, I'm not calling you Mr. Bangladesh because I do not want to legitimize you as an actual human being. Let's see if you're as bad a rapper as you are a producer. Probably impossible. Yeah, I make this 50-50, I keep it 100. I speak the truth in interviews, I keep it 100. Rhyming 100 with 100. That is his best foot forward, people. Wow, I don't think I've heard a rap verse as forced as this one. I mean, his flow is so choppy and stilted, it's like he has to physically push the words out of his mouth with his tongue. Bangladesh, it's obvious that you can't rap, so please stop wasting everyone's time. Tell the whole world to suck my cockiness. <sighs> I... I hate you so much right now. For the watch shit. In any other case, I'd critique that lyric, but honestly, I'm glad Bangladesh is wasting all of his money on watches and other useless things. I'm glad Bangladesh is wasting his fortune. He doesn't deserve it. If by that you mean a hundred times worse, then yes, you keep it plenty of one hundreds. Depending on number six. 
Uh, and speaking of bad rap music, enter Lil Wayne, an incredibly irritating rapper who seems to take pleasure in wasting his talent. As much as I hate some of his songs, I don't hate Lil Wayne himself. The dude has talent, but he's too lazy to use it half the time. It's just a shame that most of his hits are total crap, this song included. This is mind-numbingly bad. I honestly feel stupid for having to listen to it. The lyrics in this song are terrible and honestly pretty embarrassing. I've heard from many sources that Lil Wayne freestyled this song and honestly that doesn't surprise me. But my biggest problem with this song has to be the beat. This song is basically a really bad remix of an already terrible freestyle. The beat to this song is obnoxiously repetitive and very grating. It sounds like a science experiment trying to prove that sound can erode ears. If whatever that was were any louder, this song would be in the top three. From what I understand, Bangladesh didn't get that much money for producing Amili. And he actually had a small feud with Cash Money Records about it before eventually signing to the label. But you know what? I'm actually siding with Cash Money on this one. I'm glad they didn't pay Bangladesh for this. He didn't deserve anything. He, he barely did anything. He just shouted Amili a bunch of times. An industry where you can actually get paid for that is an industry that deserves to die. Depending on... Number five. Uh... Click, clack, cock, back, semi-automatic track, drink a lot of Similac, shorty, better fall back. We're only at number five, and I literally cannot comprehend how a song this bad can even exist. Yeah, I quickly dusted all the more. How? How did you take a rapper with such talent and swagger and make this? Missy Elliott's flow on this song is slow and choppy. Her rhymes are weak. The beat is annoying. Look, guys, the backwards sample thing was okay and work it because it was only in the chorus. Here, it runs repetitively through the entire length of the song. How do people listen to this? What is there to like about this? This song is solid proof that when Bangladesh produces a song, it doesn't matter how talented the incident artist is, the refracted result will always be horrible. This next song is another great example of that. Depending on... Number four. Uh... Say what you want about Irreplaceable. Say what you want about Single Ladies. Say what you want about Bow Down. But this is Beyonce's worst song by far. <laughs> This is Beyonce's answer to Amili, and yes, I think it's worse. This is an entry that some of you will probably disagree with, but yeah, I think the song is awful. Now, allow me to explain why. I find the beat to this song to be intolerable. It's just the same irritating two second long squeaky synth riff repeated over and over. It's nauseating. And why would anyone want to hear Beyonce rap? Can, can this even be called rapping? If you like it, that's fine, but I disagree. And for what it's worth, I have nothing against Beyonce. I find a majority of her songs to be tolerable, and I recognize that she is very talented. So, no hard feelings? Yep, that's what I thought. Depending on... Number three. Uh... Now, back in 2012, I had actually planned to make a video of the top 10 worst songs of 2006, and post it on this channel as the first video to be uploaded. I actually have some footage for it on my old camera. Yes, it was very terrible. Now, on that list, Bossy by Kellis rests at number three. And if I make that list again, Bossy by Kellis will most likely still be at number three. For a while, I actually planned to put Bossy by Kellis at number three on this list too, but I decided against it. I decided that lists based around producers should have an unspoken one song per artist rule. Bossy was not the only song that Bangladesh produced for Kellis. In fact, he produced three songs for her. And out of those three, this one was the worst. We've hit a point in this list where the artists behind these songs are obviously not taking the song seriously, but serious or not, I still find this absolutely unlistenable. I can't put my finger on exactly what makes me hate this song so much. Maybe it's the repetitive squeaky synth that runs throughout the entire song. Maybe it's the shrill, whispery vocals singing over themselves. Maybe it's the generic, straight-up infuriating lyrics. Maybe it's the unpleasant, eerie atmosphere. Maybe it's the bird calls in the chorus. Maybe it's all of those things. Seriously, screw this song. Next. Depending on... Number two. Uh... You know, I have nothing against Dark Kelly as a performer, but this is one of the worst songs that I've ever heard. This 
this song takes everything bad about cockiness by Rihanna and increases it exponentially. This honestly sounds like a bad parody of Bangladesh's other songs. And believe me, there are very few things I like less than a bad parody. R. Kelly's vocals on this song are astonishingly grating. They're at the absolute worst they've ever been. The lyrics in this song literally demonize sex. But my biggest problem with this song, by far, is the beat. The background to this beat would have been bad enough on its own, but Bangladesh never stops it just bad. No, when Bangladesh makes a song, he goes all the way. The beat to this song is topped with an incredibly irritating and heavily overpowering sample of some guy babbling Am nam way mam na over and over again. And yes, it runs through the entirety of the song. It just keeps building and building and building and building and building upon itself until- I don't even think I have anything else to say about this song. It pretty much speaks for itself. So I'm a soft and nerd. Was a good girl when I met her. And she was so God, it's so awful. It's like one huge pile of annoyance. But there is still one song produced by Bangladesh that is honestly worse than this. And your lives will never be the same once you hear it. Are you ready? You sure? Well, I'm not. Goodbye. You know that you For the love of God, please don't make me do- Ah, oh, what's the use? Number one. Uh. Wait a minute, hold the phone. This song isn't that bad. I mean, it's not great, but roughly mediocre, but at least it's listenable. At least it sounds like a song. Wait, was this really produced by Bangladesh? Oh my god, I'm so impressed. Maybe Bangladesh is turning a new leaf. What song did you make directly before this? Started out with a OZ, end up riding 4D. Oh. Oh god. I hate this. 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 I completely and utterly hate this. This is the second worst song ever recorded. This is completely in time. Sorry. Sorry about that. This song. This song does weird things to my mind. Now, you may be wondering, what makes this song worse than all the other horrible songs I've talked about today? Well, unlike the other songs on this list, Dope Peddler by 2 Chains has not even a trace of musical value. It's barely even music. In fact, it has negative musical value. I mean, listen to how badly Bangladesh butchered this piano riff. As a part-time musician, I find this insulting. This piece of noise has no flow, no melody, no creativity, and it barely has a rhythm. It's one of the most obnoxious noises I've ever heard. It's my second least favorite composition of all time. <sighs> Mostly because it doesn't have a single tolerable quality. It's barely even rap. It has one of the most minimalist and practically non-existent beats I've ever heard. Until the chorus, where Bangladesh destroys the old dope peddler. If this song didn't sample the old dope peddler, it would barely even be noise. Then again, Tom Lever deserved better than this. I hope Tom Lever sues Bangladesh for this song. This is not sampling. This is desecration. And of course, the less money Bangladesh has, the better. And that's my list. If you thought I was too rude in this video, you're absolutely right. That was intentional. I am Worst Music of the Year. Bangladesh, just stop. Good night. If you like this review, be sure to subscribe. I post these videos weekly. If you'd like to watch my previous video, there's an annotation on the right. If you want to watch my next video, there's an annotation on the left. Also, there's this website called Team Night Saturn. My videos are posted there as well, along with the videos of some other awesome up and coming reviewers. If you want to support the site, there's a link in the description. If you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, check out my website, follow my update vlog, or ask me a question, you probably know where the links are. Good night. Again.